Now let's start uh, looking at some of the sources of state and national background information. We have uh, several of them listed here on the Journalism 311 page. And we're going to start with CQ Researcher. These sources are good not only for background, but also for expert sources to interview. <clears throat> CQ Researcher is a database that the library subscribes to, and it stands for Congressional Quarterly, a journalistic organization that covers Congress, doing reports on issues that Congress is considering for legislation, and is avidly read by bit lobbyists, congressional staff, and others, as well as reporters. The reports are well sourced and straightforward. You can browse in a number of ways through hot topics, browse reports, browse topics, or you can search. Some are brief reports and others are more in-depth. We will look for the in-depth reports which have some tools particularly valuable for journalists. Let's see if CQ has a report on college athletes and the current debate about whether they should be compensated. And they did. They had a report from April 24th of this year on compensating college athletes. We will look at three main sections of the report. The reports are written again in plain English and very uh, digestible and with lots of sources. Well, we're going to start by looking at the chronology. And one of the reasons I like to point this out is that this is very unusual to find a concise but relevant and current history of controversial issues. This, in this case, it goes back to the beginnings of college athletic competition and the NCAA in the late 19th century and early 20th century. and include such landmarks as when television started paying broadcast rights and actions by athletes against the NCAA and up to congressional hearings today. The next section of the report that I want to point out is the bibliography. Now very few times will a reporter have a chance to read books for a story, though they might if they're covering a beat, but these articles are like a mini clip search. With articles you would be unlikely to easily find elsewhere, some of them, such as The Athletic and SB Nation. Contacts is my favorite part of these reports because here the reporter is giving you the organizations that they used in their research and in addition to that, they are giving you a one-sentence description of the organization and of the perspective of the organization, along with a phone number and their website address. Now let's take a minute and go to one of the organizations to find a source to interview. Let's try the National College Players Association. <clears throat> 